Hi everybody, Nami here and welcome to another episode. This is the first video in the Halloween series for 2015 and it is tradition that the first Halloween video I do is that I always show you what my decorations are. So let's get started. I say we go outside first. Okay, guys, first things first, here's the front of my house. Mom, take it away. So, this is the front of our house this year. And I will pan and show you everything. I'm doing a voiceover because the traffic behind me was very loud. All right, so let's look at some of the stuff up close. So we have tombstones within the plants and in the grass. We didn't put them all the way out in the grass because we didn't want um, the gardener to you know, mow over them when he mows the grass. And then like last year, we have these ghosts that are hanging and it's just um, styrofoam heads that we have placed um, sheer fabric over and we glued it this year to the face so you could see the facial features and then we painted it brown for more definition. So that's them, there's three of them. And this is the front porch and just like last year, we have this wreath that we made. I will link in the description box below if you want to see how to make this wreath. We did a video last year. This year we have a Halloween tree, so these are just black bamboo sticks that we bought at Michael's craft store that we stuck down into the pots that are already on our porch. And then we covered it with this gauze Halloween creepy stuff. And we have a skull and a pumpkin and our Halloween sign. And on the tree are little skeletons that we got at the Dollar Tree and we made little ghosts and there's orange and purple ribbon and then the sparkly spider ornaments that we also got at the Dollar Tree. And then as well as these crows that we have to decorate the top. And at night it lights up and when it gets dark we will show you what that looks like. So let's head back inside. Alrighty guys, we are back inside and we have decorated our fireplace area in the living room and we don't decorate the whole house, we just decorate this part because it's the center of our house and it's the focal point. So anyway guys, let's get started. Mom, show them what you got. Alright, so first things first, above the fireplace on the wall are bat stickers that we actually bought at Target for five bucks. So those are an easy decoration thing, you just slap them on the wall. And then we have, let me pull back here, and this will look better at nighttime, guys, because right now the sun is coming in through these windows on the side, so when it's nighttime it'll look a lot better. And we're going to film when it's nighttime, right? Yeah, we'll film it again so that way you can see what it really looks like in the dark. So anyway, here's what we have. So we're going to go over here to the side, we're going to start on one end. Yeah, guys, Mom collects um, antique type stuff, so old pictures and stuff like that. So what you're going to see here is that kind of stuff. Yeah, so I've got a lot of old books right here. These are just very old books with some old gloves and our candle, of course. And then we've got our little pumpkin ghost man and then a little uh, jewelry box. And then these are actually real. We bought these at the store, little pumpkins. And then this is a very old picture and a very old frame back there. So this frame right here is very interesting. It's a big frame with three little frames. And inside the frames, we printed pictures offline of old Victorian Halloween pictures. So there's a witch. There's a witch over there, and then this is like skeletons, but the horses have skeleton drapings over it, so it looks like skeleton horses. Very cool, and then this woman and a ghoul there. And then we have this old, old album, guys. I love this thing. This is from like the 1800s, you guys. This is really old. And see, there's old writing and everything on the inside, so yeah, I love that kind of stuff. And then we've got some old tin type photos here, so they're actually made of metal. And then another real pumpkin. And then over here we have another tin type photo in a frame. An old Victorian girl there. That is a real picture, by the way, guys. I got this in an antique shop. And then we've got this lace here and some pearls. Then we have our pumpkin with a candle in it. And then back here we've got some more photos. And then we have Edgar from last year. I don't know if you guys remember my skeleton crow. And another real pumpkin and a tiny little tombstone. And then this is a tree. This is extra bamboo from the tree that we made outside. So we just stuck it into a vase. 
and this is going to be in here and it just has purple lights on it at nighttime this is really beautiful all lit up and everything so then down here at the bottom we have another pumpkin and then we've got this little haunted house thing that lights up so we thought that was cute as usual like last year we have our fake skeleton bones inside the fireplace and then over here we have some creepy little things. I've got this old antique doll in a, a little bed there and then an old um, antique bear back there. So we thought that added. And then we've got another skull and a pumpkin. So let me pull back so you can see the full effect. So guys, that is the fireplace. So it's not as dramatic as it was last year because last year I had, if you remember, I had all of those um, tombstones and stuff set along the top. So it's not as dramatic, but we like it. Then around the house, we also have like little tiny decorations just to give a feel. This is um, a decoration that we have right here above the television. And then on the coat closet in the front hallway, we just have this little sign that says, Welcome Friends. And in the dining room, on the dining room table, we just have this little ghost that came with candy on the inside. And it says, Happy Halloween on that little sign. So in the kitchen area, we've got this little scarecrow that dances. And this black thing in the front's a solar panel, so the sun from the window makes her dance. And then we have this little sign that says, Ghostly Greetings. And then we have this cauldron here with some lemons inside. And then we have Trader Joe's pumpkin soup sitting there. So that's our little area in the kitchen. Okay guys, so it's nighttime now, so we are going to show you what all of our decorations look like after dark. All right everyone, so this is what it looks like after dark. So it's nice and spooky, but pretty at the same time. So the lights that we have are these flickering lantern lights. See how the light bulbs look like it's fire that's flickering? And then of course we have the tree that we told you about earlier and that little haunted house down there on the floor, which works as a nice night light actually. And of course we have our candles on top of the mantelpiece, which are lighting everything up beautifully. Look at how spooky that is. So it looks like an old Victorian haunted mansion. But it lights it up so beautifully, look at that. It's very pretty, Mom. Yep, and we've got those candles up there. So that's the inside, guys. So we are going to head outside now so you can see what our Halloween tree looks like. Alrighty, guys, so we are outside. It's about to get dark. It's right before dark, but you can see the tree just fine. So let's take a look. Oh, it's so pretty, Mom. I just love it. There you have it, guys. So that is what it looks like after dark, and then it just shines with the orange lights, and you can see all the little decorations and things on it, and they kind of twinkle, and it's a big success. We really like this decoration this year. I love it. Alrighty, guys, so there is our decorations for Halloween for 2015. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment below and let me know which decoration or which part is your favorite. Also, be sure to subscribe. I have a lot more Halloween videos coming for the month of October. Also, follow me on all of my social media. The links are in the description box below for that. And be sure to download the Periscope app on your cell phones or tablets or devices because that is how I'm going to be doing my live shows from now on. I will leave the link to the video in the description box below where I talk all about Periscope scope and how you can be part of my Lammy live shows. So anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.